Welcome everyone. Let us discuss an important topic in psychology that is conflict. As you all know, it's a very common term in psychology and conflict is part of our life. It is also one of the causes of stress and frustration. Now we will discuss about the etymological meaning of uh, conflict. The conflict word is derived from the Latin word which means strike two things at the same time. Let me explain you in very simple terms. Uh, conflict is an emotional tension or you can say emotional pressure or strain uh, which a person experiences when he has to choose between two goals which is equally desirable or you can say equally undesirable. Here I have chosen two definitions of conflict. One is given by Coleman, the other is given by Douglas and Holland. Let us discuss the definitions given by Douglas and Holland. Conflict means a painful emotional state which results from tension between opposed and contradictory wishes. Here the person goes through an emotion which is unpleasant and that result in tension. Yes, conflict give rise to tension because when a person has to choose between two equally desirable or two equally undesirable goals, he goes through a dilemma or tension. And that is known as conflict. Another definition is given by Coleman. A conflict is the anticipated frustration and tail in the choice of either alternative. It is quite natural that conflict give rise to frustration. As you have to choose between two equally desirable or two equally undesirable goals. Let us know the viewpoints of two important psychologists. One is Eric Erikson, the other is Sigmund Freud. Eric Erikson has said that conflict is a turning point during which an individual struggles to maintain, sorry, to attain some psychological quality, sometimes referred to as a psychological crisis. Eric Erikson in his Psychosocial Stages of Development has stated that Conflict is a turning point. That means conflict is a psychosocial crisis that every child faces in his life. And those turning point or those conflict needs to be resolved. If the child succeed in, in resolving the conflict, then he moves toward the next stage and develops a virtue and also develop certain positive outcome. If the child cannot resolve the conflict, then it, he is affected in the later stage of his life. Sigmund Freud has stated that uh, conflict arises between the forces of e ego super ego, the three dynamic aspects on one's personality. Yes, uh, you have to know that Sigmund Freud uh, basically, he focus on the internal conflict and the internal conflict is the conflict that goes within a person, that occurs within the person and this conflict is due to the, uh, due to the Eid and superego. There is a continuous conflict between the Eid and superego which has different principles and the ego here becomes the mediator in order to resolve the conflict between E then superego. Broadly, there are two types of conflict. One is interpersonal, the other is intrapersonal. Interpersonal conflict occurs between two person. When there is a conflict or when there is an when there is a different opinion or views among the people. And intrapersonal is the conflict uh, which occurs within the person. Carl Lewin classified four types of motivational conflict. The types of conflict are approach-approach conflict, avoidance-avoidance conflict, approach-avoidance conflict and multiple approach-avoidance conflict. Approach means moving towards something and avoidance means moving away from something. The first is approach-approach conflict. A person, a person experienced approach-approach conflict when he has to choose between two equally desirable goals that occurs at the same time. Suppose you have two favorite holiday destinations. 
but you cannot choose the two option or the two goals at the same time you have to choose one that means you have to give up one of the holiday destination another example is if the person considers two movies worth seeing suppose for him the two movies is interesting the two movies are interesting but he but he has not enough money to watch both the movie so he has to select one out of the two our second type of conflict is avoidance avoidance conflict avoidance avoidance conflict avoidance avoidance conflict occur when a person has to choose between two undesirable goal remember if he choose one he has to face the another undesirable situation which is quite a tough situation or quite a uh, confusing situation for him as he has to make a decision of choosing one and giving up the other and both the situation is not desirable here is one example a child avoids medicine because it is bitter but also wants to get rid of sickness here he has faced two situation one he wants to avoid the medicine the other he wants to avoid the sickness but out of this two option he has to choose one as a result the person goes through avoidance avoidance conflict the third type of conflict is approach avoidance conflict here the person face a situation which has both which has both positive and negative features here is the example to marry or not to marry to marry it indicates that the person wants to uh, he is attracted to the goal yes he is attracted to the goal that means he wants to marry at the same time he doesn't want to marry because he is repelled by that same situation so it's a quite uh, confusing for the person what to do in this situation because in the same situation he has both a positive and a negative features another example is a person wants to eat cake but wants to avoid gaining weight and both the things that is one is positive and the other is negative features are there in the same situation as a result the person face approach avoidance conflict the fourth conflict that is the multiple approach avoidance conflict it is one of the most difficult conflict to resolve here the person face with two or more goals and each of the goal has both attractive and unattractive aspect here is one example a person may have alternative of accepting any of the two jobs of which one may be boring with a very good pay and other may be interesting but a very poor pay here he he has got two jobs but he cannot choose two jobs at the same time he has to decide that which one will be better for him but as you can see in both the job there is both positive as well as negative aspects so it becomes difficult for the person to decide on the situation which is known as multiple approach avoidance conflict